Holy guitar pedal, Batman! <laughs> And assuming this video is still rolling despite the copyright claim from the Batman theme tune, which hopefully we've changed just enough to get away with it, welcome to another episode of Anderson's TV, um, where it has to be said, I think, uh, internet, we have solved the Christmas birthday dilemma that uh, for every single one of you that has to buy a present for a guitar player that already has everything they need, We've solved it. It's solved. It's it is done. officially solved. <laughs> yeah. At least for the next four Christmas and birthdays, <laughs> maybe beyond. Um, this is a super, super cool, tiny, tiny uh, company based in California called VV Co Pedals. And simplistically, he buys toys, official toys, uh, toy cars. And we have a Transformer and the DeLorean from Back to the Future and some Batmobiles and and in the past he's done the Ghostbusters car. Um, oh, what's the other one? Uh, the the mystery mystery machine from Scooby Doo. Oh, that little van. My daughter she's a massive Scooby Doo fan at the moment. Anyway, Scooby -Doo. and then he puts a pedal circuit inside it, distortions, boosts, whatever. Actually, this is an attenuator, which is kind of cool. Yeah. And then repackaged them. You know, some some of them come in their original boxes. Some. I guess come in, you know, like his own box, depending on how trashed the original box gets. But basically, it's a lot of fun. Um, and they're not uh, super expensive either, are they? When you think crazy. about what a, what a, what a, if a custom, or like a boutique pedal is yeah. 250 quid, these are nowhere near that. No, no, no. So check the, check the links below, dive on over to the Anderson's website. I, I roughly ish, there's something like 150 pounds each, something, something like that. that. It's not who I am underneath, but what I do that defines me. What the hell are you? I am Batman. I will say right now, it's a tiny operation. They're a nightmare in terms of, uh, I'm sure we could sell, I want to say thousands, <laughs> definitely hundreds, but he can't make that many. So we're out of stock a lot of the time, it but just, you know, time, jump in the queue, place your order, and we'll supply as soon as we possibly can. But they're, they're awesome. So let's start with... The first one, which is the Batmobile with uh, a fuzz pedal inside it. So here is our uh, which, clean... Which bat Batmobile is that, though? Because it's, it's a different era. The other one is different, isn't it? So uh, anyway. I, I would say they're knows, all pretty modern. Fan. They're all pretty modern Batmobiles here. Uh, you guys, pro if for Batman aficionados, which one is this? Yeah, tell um, us. No moving parts on this by the looks of things in terms of doors that open and stuff. Uh, the wheels turn, which is kind of cool. So you can um, play with it. But yes. Uh, Light comes on. Awesome. Okay. okay. Clean tone. Clean tone. Here we go. That's a clean tone. Yeah. Uh, we're using the <laughs> Hughes & Kettner for no other reason than it lights up blue and makes an awesome backdrop to these kind of pedal <laughs> things. But yes. Uh, clean tone. Here we go. Fuzz tone from the Batmobile. Oh, back pickup. <laughs> We've got a, a volume control, uh, an amount of fuzz control, and then like a filter control. So the more I turn it up, the more top end gets filtered out. So here are some. Oh. I'm not going to play that because okay, it's even it. another. It's just yeah. another. It's all right. It's all right. And, and that guitar yeah. would be the perfect guitar for the Joker. I mean, that's literally in it would Joker be. kind of colors. It, is, it would. From particularly from when Jack Nicholson played the Joker. Oh, anyway, look. That's my favorite one. This what is I the, need this to is see the... on YouTube Sorry. is people buying this pedal, dressing up as Batman and posting their own uh, videos. Um, I... I 
I should say, I don't know how practical any of these pedals are going to be. Clearly, you're not going to buy these and try and mount them to a pedal board. At least I don't think you are. I think you're going to just have these at home. They're slightly ornamental. Tons and tons of fun. Yeah. But they sound good, right? It sounds, that's, that's so a, I was surprised we... about that one. I want to try the, 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 yeah, another Batman go beer or change film? Oh, I don't know. But let's go with Batman again, okay. since we are on the Batman uh, right. circus. Right, okay. That's too far. And while you do that, I'm just going to say this is the uh, this guitar is the road worn uh, version of the purple Telecaster where I put on a gold scratch plate, so you can see what that looks like. Yeah. Because we that's the only upgrade that's done to this. F you Joker, you. Yeah, we did. I think so. That guitar ships normally with a parchment guard on it, but we sell um, we sell a non relict gold. Yeah. That the official fender non relic gold yeah. scratch plate, which you can buy from the Anderson's website, but then you've got to relic it yourself. Yeah. Anyway. The night is dark, it's just before the dawn, and I promise you, the dawn is coming. Okay. Mm. Pedal number two. Pedal number two. Is another Batmobile, but this time with um, a Dark Knight approved boost circuit <laughs> in it. Uh, yeah, so just one knob now, although we do have some other moving parts. The, the cockpit opens, and we can engage machine guns uh, <laughs> if you want to although I'm not entirely sure that doing either of those things changes the tone we'll find out wow. uh, so here we put it on a, a we've now put it on a crunch tone because obviously boost you know that's typically where most guitar players would use a, a boost yeah on front of a, a drive pedal or something tone. yeah yeah Up. This is the Officially, that is the boost that Batman has in his utility belt. Wait a minute, Doc. You're telling me you built a time machine out of the DeLorean? <laughs> uh, pedal trois. Out uh, of time, baby. The mega film Back to the Future oh. is the DeLorean. Unbelievably cool pedal. I don't think, again, none of the doors open or anything, do they? But you can see that the... what? Ah, oh, man. That comes off, though. The... the uh... The, that little antenna thing can come off. That's the... What did they call the... What was this component flux, on the car? The uh, it, no, no, no. It was the... Uh, Hydro... Mr. Fusion. Mr. Fusion. And so, the, the spring was from Back to the Future 2, or the end of Back to the Future, when he has to go back to the future, whatever. Right, so what, super what, 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 cool. We've had two pedals added on the top here for uh, effect level. This is a delay, lots. by the way. Yeah, I should, Delarian. Uh, it's called uh, delay Delarian. Oh, of course. Of course. Um, <laughs> so for the volume and the uh, number of repeats. But the coolest bit here is one of the actual bits of the car has been changed over to be the length of the delay. So how blooming cool is that? So here we go. We're just going to use it on a clean sound. Of course, you could use it on any kind of tone you wanted to. And here's nothing. And here's a bit of delay. Oh, it's a proper. It's analog delay. Yeah, you can definitely hear it's an analog uh, tape delay. This is a this is a slightly odd one. This is a, this is a blend control. 50/50. We've got a blend between the dry and the wet signal. All the way up is just the dry, I think. Oh, maybe more dry, but not all of it. And then all the way down is much more delay yeah. in the mix. So you find where you like that sat. Um, maximum delay on this. So what is that like? A just under a second, maybe it's half a second to a second, something like that. Not Oh, maybe one second. No, that's shorter than that. That's shorter than that. Eight hundred, maybe. Whatever. It's, it's that, typical it's not of about, an analog. It's not a, with this no. one, it's not about the it's not about the the specs yep. and the stuff. It's about what it looks like. In, indeed, uh, we can use it obviously into some slightly gainier stuff if you want to into the front end. Of course, we could use the effect. <laughs> Yeah, it's 
a delay pedal. It's a delay pedal. Nobody calls me chicken. It's a delay it's... pedal that you could probably buy for like 50 or 60 quid, isn't it? Yeah. In a DeLorean that well, might be another 50 or awesome. 60 quid, yeah. plus a bit extra for the time it's taken to oh, do the... How long do the... you think it would take oh, to, to, to take everything out and then put stuff inside that without breaking all that, yeah. the, those bits and pieces? It's so cool. You get the little blue LED inside. Uh, the brake lights work. Can we see that? Yeah, Can we'll I do spin some it sweeps. round so the, the brake we'll lights work, which is super, and super front. cool. And if you push it along really, really fast so it hits 88 miles an hour, it ends up back in 1940-something or other. 55. 55, 55 exactly. Much. That's correct. If my calculations are correct, when this baby hits 88 miles per hour, you're going to see some serious sh Um Right, last one then. So, the, the uh, <laughs> Optimus Prime... Optimus Prime, which does have like little moving doors. It's called Attenuator uh, Prime. But I can't see unless I'm being... Oh, wow, look. Optimus Prime is underneath it. Does he come out or do anything? I can't see on this particular I don't toy think it does anything. if it actually transforms. Um, I was talking to Pete about this before we got started. I was kind of... I'm a bit too old for, for, for the original Transformer stuff, so I never had any of these toys when I was younger. I did, I did. But kind of some... <sighs> I don't think anything on here wants to move, but hey, so it is inside the cabin here is a transformer, basically, which is genius, which I can use to attenuate the output of my amp. So this pedal would actually go in between the amp and the speaker. Yeah. Um, and then we drive the bejeebas, we drive the Decepticons <laughs> out of the amplifier. <laughs> Um, and so here we go. So this is my speaker cabinet cable, uh, which goes oh, here I've got somewhere. The, it goes in the back of it there, in the back. There you oh go. yeah, so which one, one, which side? So the one on the left is input. Right, okay. And the one on the right is output. It's called Attenuator Prime. There you go. Oh, that's such a genius name. Autobots transform and roll out. Now, you know what? You're gonna have to be, I, I've gotta be honest with you. Maybe big speaker cables with gigantic jack plugs on the end aren't ideal for this. They only just fit. So I think if you're going to buy this and you need speaker cables, try and find ones with smaller, more sort of like guitar cable-y type mm. ends on them. So that's what it looks like in the back. Can you see that? Two cables there. Uh, we don't know if anything's going to light up on this as the amp signal starts to go through it, but it doesn't require any kind of a mains circuit or anything. <laughs> Maximum Prime. That's really good, actually. So the idea is, I now select, I now drive the bejeebas, which I think I've used that word twice now, out of this amplifier on like a crunch setting, um, and we get like tons and tons and tons of hopefully power amp gain and all that good stuff. Um, and we now just go. Here we go. <laughs> I kind of feel like Optimus needs to be here. And here we are. because this kind of thing wouldn't go on a pedal board. No, that's just something This is a million percent. If you've got like an old, I don't know, like a old tube amplifier, JTM, yeah. whatever, that you can't really use at home because it's yeah. way too loud. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is there a cooler, like, no, attenuated to just sit on top of it and go, yeah, I'm just going to use Optimus Prime to set my volume level. I mean, JHS does something similar, that little box mm -hmm. where it goes between as well, but... That just looks wicked! That's what I was wondering. I need to get my... Uh... 
there we go. So there you are. That is the uh, the VV Co range of pedals available to buy from Andersons right now. Great Scott! Um, for the man who has everything. For the man, for the woman, guitar player. The guitar who player, has, who, uh, the yeah, the guitar player stroke movie <laughs> fan who has everything. Um, that's a lot of fun. It's all cool. So yeah, uh, more photos and spec and stuff on our website. As I said before, apologies if when you dive over there, something's out of stock or it looks like it's got a bit of a wait time. Just well, is what it now is for with Christmas? these Yeah, absolutely. If you want one now, this is the time to get them. Before yeah, Christmas. and do stay tuned to the Andersons website because uh, I know the guys at VVCo, you know, they're, they're always finding, you know, new supplies of new toy cars and stuff Absolutely. like that, putting different pedals in them like that. So who knows we should what there some. might be. We should choose some. What might, would you might, do? Might be one you? step ahead of you there, Pete. Might be looking at some Star Warsy oh. kind of stuff. Oh, just to sort of an see. X-Wing fighter or like a, like a, who knows? Yay. Land speeder. Not sure. R2-D2 with a button on top of it. R2-D2. Thrones of four Decepticons. Besides, the night is dark. It's just before the dawn. And I built a time machine. Thank right. you, Mr. Pete. Thank you, Mr. Uh, Lee. Thank you guys for watching. <laughs> and we shall see you next time on Anderson's TV. Subscribe, subscribe. Oh. <laughs>